Hello creatives, I'm Joanna Penn from thecreativepen.com and today I'm doing a short video on working from home since as I record this in March 2020 it's becoming a reality for many more people. Now I've been working from home since I left my day job in 2011 to become a full-time author entrepreneur so I know it can be difficult at first so I have a few tips for you today. Number one, establish a routine. Now I know this is difficult, but if you're working from home, you don't necessarily need to set the alarm and get up and get to your desk <laughs> at a certain time. But let me tell you, it's a lot easier if you do, because otherwise you end up wandering around going, well, what shall I do? And then you'll be checking your phone too much, checking the news and it will all just fall apart. So I would suggest that you try to follow the same routine as you would do normally. So yes, I'd suggest setting your alarm, having your shower. You don't need to put on the suit if you do wear a suit to work, but certainly put on some clothes, get out your pajamas and try to get to your uh, work desk within your home office or your workspace uh, at a decent time. Number two, set aside a specific place for your work within your home. Now, I know that many people will find it impractical to have a home office, so a separate room that you might have. If you have a big enough house, then fantastic, make sure you have an office to go to, but many people won't be able to. But the important thing is to set aside a specific place, maybe even just one end of the kitchen table, somewhere where you wouldn't normally sit. And it's very important to separate the place where you work from the place where, for example, you watch Netflix or you, if you do do gaming then where you do gaming because the the brain likes to have routine and if you're going to be working from home for an extended period uh, maybe even if you intend to then uh, you need to make sure you have a specific place for that so even if it is a chair in a specific corner with uh, you know a laptop or something you need to make sure that is a different place to where you do other things it just helps your brain separate the different things you're going to do the third thing is time blocking and also timed work periods. Now it can be very difficult when you start working from home because the time seems to stretch on. You're like, oh, well, I've got all day to do this type of thing. But time seems to disappear, especially if you're checking the news and you're um, Skyping with colleagues or you get text messages or WhatsApp messages and that can be very distracting and what you can find is that the hours go past and you haven't actually done anything. This is just as hard for writers because uh, you know you can sit down to do some work and if you just have an open time period it can feel like you don't get anything done. So what I would suggest is you set aside a time block that might be 20 minutes if you're trying to write something, it might be longer if you are trying to achieve a bigger task. Uh, I tend to like doing an hour at least turn off all your notifications so turn off your phone notifications uh, you can even unplug from the internet uh, if you want to go hard then set a timer and this is a really important part of it set a timer so you know you have a specific time block and then do the work this is important because it's very hard to focus otherwise, especially when things are going a bit nuts in the world around us. So setting a timer and then concentrating, turning off the notifications, do your work in that different place. And then when the timer is up, then you can go check social media, then you can go check your email, then you can get back online, check the news, etc. But if you don't have those time blocks, it can be really hard to get anything done. Number four is get out of the house. Now, I realise that as I record this, we might be moving into a time of social distancing and some people may even be in quarantine. But there are ways that you can get out of the house uh, without coming into contact with other people. Obviously, if you're sick, you're not going to do this. But if you can and you're working from home, then you can go into your garden, for example. Even if it's raining, get some fresh air, stand there with an umbrella or whatever and actually just breathe some air out of your house. If you can go for a walk, so for example, I live quite near a canal where I can go for a walk and I don't have to um, touch anyone or be near anyone I can just go for a walk and that is uh, being outside seeing nature is also really important when things seem a bit crazy um, hearing the birds s singing and uh, we have a little snail colony near us I like visiting the snails <laughs> seeing the flowers uh, these things can help us get perspective because sometimes if we're at home and things are kind of going a little crazy it can feel 
even more intense but if you get outside and um you know especially if you you have an animal you can walk your dog or whatever um you can still manage to get outside in nature oftentimes without having to uh, be close potentially to other people so i find that getting out of the house every day is really important to my mental health and i think sometimes that is a very important part of of our life and then number five is connect with your loved ones and your community online. So if you don't have a way to connect with a community, now is a really good time to sort that out. And uh, if you're a writer, of course, there are lots of groups on Facebook, there's um, Twitter and other social media. Uh, it's very important to have a community that you can talk to at this time. If you are trying to set up things with family, then um, get, you know, helping people with their um, Skype and, uh, you know, other devices <laughs> where you can contact people without feeling physically seeing them can be a really good idea. Now, if you work from home for a long time, then you will have your online networks and they're incredibly important to your life as a creator, as well as uh, just a member of society. So make sure you do your work, you get outside in nature, but you also check in uh, with your friends and family over time. So those are just some tips uh, from working from home for nearly a decade now. And I have some more tips in my book, Productivity for Authors, which is available in ebook, print and audiobook uh, narrated by me. So happy writing, stay sane and stay healthy. And I'll see you next time.